Hello and welcome to Guitars for Bars. I'm your host James. I'm working on this Tiger Shark guitar today. This one little spot that I showed you on the last video where it lifted turned out to be a bigger area. I guess I didn't get enough clear on there. It was kind of dry and that amount of sparkle just scraped off. I went around and checked everywhere else. I had a little spot over here that was bad and a little spot here that's bad. So I'm going to touch those up real quick and then we'll get on with the rest of the show. Okay, the touch up's done. Obviously, this two tone stuff is something that takes patience and practice. I haven't done the two tone sparkle fade stuff ever before, so I ran into a few issues. It's just like I say, one of those things that's going to take some practice. One of the issues is this blue area here is higher. In the white area in between so that's going to give me a little bit of a, a problem possibly when I get into the sanding stage so we'll see because I've got to lay a lot of clear on here it might work out okay but otherwise I'm pretty happy with it it's a little odd but it's the first one I've done like this so uh, we'll just see how I progress over time with the next ones all right, I got this all taped off. I've got this little spot here and this little spot over here that I got to touch up. And then other than that, once that's dry, we're going to do the sparkle on the back. I'm not going to actually show me doing the sparkle this time. I'll show you when it's done. I've got another V that I have to do solid sparkle on, and I will film that on the, one of the next videos coming up when this is finished. This time for the clear, I'm going to be using this Iwata RG2 sprayer instead of the airbrush. It gives me a bigger pattern, more clear down, which will be good for the amount of glitter that I got to put on this time without any masking of a design. And then I will be using it on an upcoming video series, the Sparkle Randy Rhodes Jackson V. I'd just like to point out that sparkling a guitar this way makes quite a mess so you want to be prepared for that you're going to end up using about two-thirds of the glitter on the guitar and one-third of the glitter on the floor okay the tape is off so far so good the back's nice and solid I got a nice transition there around the heel corners look pretty good a little weird there I might I'll probably just leave that like that it's not a big deal on the back uh, that corner looks pretty good everything looks good okay now tomorrow we do the neck and the headstock and I might just touch up that little spot there okay what I did was I just took the exacto knife and scraped off that little bit of glitter that was right there. There's still a little bit there. I'll probably work on that. Right down there if you can see it. Okay, I scraped a little bit more off there. Took a little bit off the tiny, tiny little bit off the corner and then a little bit off of that edge there. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. Now I'm going to leave it go. We're done. Now the next step will be lots and lots of clear so it'd be like three or four coats of clear let it dry and sand it three or four coats of clear let it dry and sand it three or four coats of clear let it dry and sand it and I keep doing that until it's slick as glass and then we let it sit for probably a month to harden up then we do it again all right before I do the neck and headstock I decided I'm going to give the body a coat of clear to lock everything in smooth everything out a little bit and get that process started so I got it hanging again so it's going to be swinging but this time I've got the neck all wrapped so I can get a good grip on it while I'm while I'm painting it and I can hold it I can tilt it to where I can see it in the light how it needs to be I can turn it and have a good view a good angle on everything that I got to spray so I'm going to use the RG2 again because that's my go-to gun for the clear. So I'm going to do that, and I'll show you what that looks like, and then we'll do the neck and headstock. 
four tablespoons of clear, one tablespoon of hardener, one tablespoon of reducer got me this far. Four coats. As you can see, it's starting to fill in. It's not smooth at all. That's going to take some sanding, but it's filling in. Now, some of the stuff up on the, the front here where I had a little trouble with the fade is going to take a little bit more paint because I got quite a bit of glitter built up there. You can see it's pretty rough. It hasn't filled in yet. It's going to take another round of four or five coats to get those uh, thick spots filled in but the spots that are the normal thickness like over here they're filling in pretty good I'm not to the point yet where I can start sanding because I'll cut into the glitter up here and here's the edge this edge is looking pretty good it's got a few thick spots yet then there's the back again you can get an idea on the back that we're getting pretty close to the sanding stage so the next round of clear on this will take care of that and that will be after I do the neck so the next time is the neck and the headstock and then we'll do this we'll hang it back up and do this again now with a little bit of dramatic lighting you can see where the darker blue areas are a little higher around the edge that's going to give me a little trouble because that's a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. But once I start sanding that off, it might just level out okay. We'll see when it's all done. It's in a control area, so it's not going to be that big a deal. Just a reminder, this is the first time I've ever tried to do the sparkle fade thing like this. And I figured there'd be some problems. And there they are, right there. So we're going to live with that and keep going, build up the clear until I get it level and then we'll see how it is when it's all finished and I've already got an idea for the next one where I'm going to do a sparkle fade it's going to be uh, yellow orange and red some flames it's going to be really cool so uh, I'm not sure what guitar that's going on yet probably on one I don't have I'd kind of like to do it to an SG and I don't have I've got an SG but it's not one I want to strip down so uh, it's going to be down the road I got three or four other guitars in front of that but like I said, I'm getting the idea for it. So stay tuned. Since I just mentioned the SG, I thought I'd go ahead and show it to you. A Greg Bennett Design Samic Torino. Okay, that's the headstock. The body, the typical transparent red mahogany SG style body. And the back, the same, and it is set neck. I got this guitar for $160 at a local music store used. And you can see the bridge and tailpiece are off of it because I'm going to put different pickups in it. The bridge pickup, I like it. It's got some bite. Uh, not real loud, but it's got some bite. The neck pickup, it, it's, it's horrible. It's just real it's weak it's muddy it's just not good so i'm going to swap that out with some uh it's probably some duncans i've got a stag mag that i think i'm going to put here and i'm thinking about putting a demarzio distortion right there and this thing is going to sound amazing when that's done and the reason i don't want to strip it down and refinish it is because it's the only transparent red guitar i've got now and i like to have one and it's just really nice and, and the fact of the matter is I had an SG Special, a Gibson SG Special. It had the full plastic pick guard on it. Sounded like plastic. Didn't play good. The neck was was thick and, and kind of narrow. Not as wide as this. This has got an extra wide neck on it. You could easily have a, this neck could easily go with a guitar that's got a Floyd Rose. It's really nice. It, it plays great. The neck feels great. It's just an awesome guitar. So, you know, if you get the chance to pick one up, for under 200 bucks man do it it's it's a great guitar so i'll demo this one once i got the new pickups in it because it is one of my guitars for bars it's just not one that i'm going to be painting it's finally neck day i'm going to touch up a little bit i've got a few spots there's a spot there well it's not focusing there's a little spot there there's a spot there 
couple spots on the front of the headstock, a little bit here, a little bit there. I'm going to do, uh, I've got it setting, I've got the whole guitar body wrapped so I can paint this side and flip it over and do the headstock. I'll probably do the headstock first. I used some, uh, it's really hard to see, but I used some Scotch brand blue fine line tape along the edge of where the paint's going to stop on the binding. And then I use a regular blue tape. The, the, the Scotch blue fine line is plastic, so it'll give me a nice crisp edge. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this touch up. And then I'm going to spray some clear on it. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And then before we start clearing the whole thing, I'll put the fret markers on the back like I like to do so I can see it in the dark if I'm playing out. The headstock is done. It's all glittered up, ready for final coats of clear. The neck is done. You can see here where I used the white glitter to make my little front markers back there. I was going to make them a lot bigger, but I thought, eh, no need to do that. I just need to be able to see them. So I kept them kind of subtle. And actually, I wasn't going to glitter the neck at all, but what I did... I just dusted it. I didn't put it on real heavy like on the front and the back of the guitar. I just lightly dusted it from real high up and I kind of shook the moved the guitar under it as it was falling down. So we're all ready for burying this thing under lots and lots and lots of clear. So that's what we're going to do. I think I've got enough clear on here now that you guys can get the idea of the sparkle effect. It's going to look pretty sweet. You can see it there a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to give you an angle that you can see how much clear I've got on it. The wet look. You can see I've still got quite a ways to go. I'm getting close to the sanding stage. I'll probably give it one more round of clear. Three or four coats tomorrow. And then I'll start hitting it with the sandpaper really carefully. Let's flip it around here and see if we can see the other side. Hang on a second. This is tricky. I gotta unhook it and rehook it. Okay, I got it. Didn't drop it. Woo! All right. Now, same thing on this side. You can still see the 3D part of the thing there where there's a little shadow where that stuff's too thick. I'm just gonna leave it. But man, you can really get an idea what this sparkle is going to look like. It's filling in good. I'm really close to sand in the front. Still got a rough spot there. Some rough spots up here. The edges are looking pretty good. So uh, I think you get the idea. So I'm going to call it quits on this video. The next video will be sanding, clearing, sanding, clearing, sanding, clearing until we got it slick. Please hit like and subscribe and share. I want to thank my subscribers and everybody that's viewed this. Have a good day. Bye-bye.